now for our interview segment. One thing that women are better than men if they want to succeed in the business world is to explore the beauty of the industry. Since decades ago, it has been a way of life for women to learn the art of beautifying themselves in the society. In a nutshell, the more elegant one appears in society, the more respect she gets. But in today's world of business, it isn't just about getting to know the right brush for the right color, but rather to know the pulls and push in the market demand towards such products and service. Today, we get the chance to talk with Ili Zawani Ismail, the Managing Director of Natural Life Solutions in Diran Burhat, to share more of what is empowering women in the business world with beauty products. Hello Zawani, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm good, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for joining us on here. Thank you for having me here. All right. So first and foremost, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you to go into the beauty industry? Okay. Uh, it's actually something that I started back way back 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, actually, me and beauty industry is something unexpected because I am having a background of accounting. I did ACCA back in my college days. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, jumping into the beauty world is something that unplanned, unexpected. So it's something that I actually um, trying to fulfill my family's request at that point of time. But now it has become part of my world, part of my uh, something that I love to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was unexpected. But then uh, being in beauty industry for, for the past nine years, I think it's a lucrative industry. Mm -hmm. And it's an industry which is not a sunset. It's sort of like evergreen. So long as women on this uh, planet, you know, the beauty industry will still survive. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that the industry actually grow every year at the, at the average of about 4.3%, it shows that uh, the beauty world, it's, uh, it's an industry that uh, I think um, is a growing industry, very promising industry, mm -hmm. yes. So what was the shift like um, from mm -hmm. accountings to being in the beauty industry? So at first it was very like, you know, I feel very demotivated. I feel very down. I cried a lot. You know, when my father said, you know, you have to continue the business because he started the business actually uh, to do some health product. Okay. And after that, somebody actually continued the uh, business doing some high-end perfume range. Yes. But I'm not a perf uh, perfume person, um, neither, you know, I plan to be in business because having an accounting background, I always um, aspire or or to work in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. You know, I once wished to work with Bank Negara Malaysia and climb the corporate ladder and, you know, hold certain important position uh, in uh, Bank Negara. But then I think Allah has a better plan for me. Mm -hmm. So along the way, my father asked me to actually take over the business. But at that point of time, they were doing this high-end perfume. So I'm not, I don't like perfume. So I said, I need to look for some, something else, something that people always want. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't matter in what um, economy punya economy uh, condition so and I was thinking like okay what women want you know so women and beauty you can never separate them mm -hmm. so then that's how actually it all started yeah. so at first when I was stressed out and so on I cried I cried a lot and so on and then my my father actually just you know just put me there without any guidance mm -hmm. so he said that's how I you know I was thrown into the business as well nobody actually uh, teach me or not even during um, you know college days and everything you mm -hmm. just have to learn and survive on your own so and then I, I said okay let me just take this as a challenge and um, I got an advice from a very wise man and he said, you know, you still can achieve what you want in life. Mm -hmm. It's just the platform is different. Rather yeah. than working for people, now you have your own business and you can actually reach the same goal at the end of the day. So that actually opened up my mind and I said, yeah, at the end of the day, what I want to achieve in my life and then, uh, you know, actually what my life mission is all about giving back. Mm -hmm. I want to give back, uh, return the favour to my parents and of course to the society by providing a lot of job opportunities, business opportunities and of course to help the less fortunate people mm -hmm. and of course our uh, Islamic institutions like the madrasa, mosque and everything. So mm -hmm. then I, I, I take it like I tell myself I should use this platform, business platform as you know a platform to give back to the mm -hmm. society. Yeah. So when I start thinking positively then things start to change i enjoy all the things that actually have uh, you know come along the way mm -hmm, that's amazing <laughs> um can you. you explain a little bit about your role currently um in the industry okay basically you know being um 
I am the sole distributor of an uh, international halal cosmetic product from Turkey. It's, near, uh, it's called FCC. So basically what I'm trying to do now is actually to expose and to make halal cosmetic into the industry. It wasn't, it wasn't an industry or it wasn't something that people looked for before. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the brand awareness and you know, uh, the awareness about hal uh, halal and so on is increasing. So Alhamdulillah, you know, the halal cosmetic is getting placed in uh, the women's heart in Malaysia and also mm -hmm. Brunei and Singapore. So basically my role is to make sure a lot of people know that is uh, the existence of halal cosmetic uh, yeah. outside. Right. The so um, the Ministry of Women, Family and Community mm -hmm. aims to make this year a year for mm -hmm. empowering women. Mm -hmm. um, can you share to us more about this initiative? Actually, I think it has been an ongoing initiative mm. because I'm also very active in NGO, which is called Peniagawati. It's all about empowering women. So, you know, in Peniagawati, uh, I involve a lot, in, you know, with the government agencies and all the programs that actually they came out just for women. There's a lot of, uh, how would I say, uh, programs and initiative done by the government to actually support women. So I don't think it's something uh, that is 100% uh, new. It's something being, you know, um, been done before. But making this year is the like official year. So and the initiative I think is has increased uh, in terms of like the mat maternity days, like supporting women from 60 days to 90 days, and having like 30% of the women on the board. You know, I think it's something which is good because there's a lot of very um, good and quality women out there but they don't have a place in the you know um, GLC MNCs to actually help uh, to grow the company so I think it's a very good thing and being women we are known as a multitasker you know we can wear many different hats but we still can deliver and you know being a mother being a wife being a boss being um, you know working for people and so on so but we still can manage to actually um, allocate the time for all the things that we have yeah. of course it comes with certain stress and certain you know responsibilities but i think many women manage to do that being men they are very focused uh, and then also being women we have this we do things sometimes with a lot of compassion so we don't just do things for ourselves we always think about others first um, before us so i think it's good what the government is doing to actually help more women into the industry um, into the business world into the working force mm -hmm. and so on a lot of initiative and supports being done um, allocating certain budgets just or, or financial assistance just for the women i think it's awesome it's something you know um, to be done continuously. Yes. It's about town women to be empowered. Yes. Yeah. Um, so how would you say that makeup products help in empowering women? Okay, basically, usually people take like makeup product, it's like something that people just buy to look, to look pretty, to look good, you know, to cover some flaws. Yeah. But in my case, I find it, you know, after, uh, even for me, it's something that I just realized after a few years in the business. At first, I thought, you know, I just jumped into the beauty business world and, you know, I'm just selling makeup, making money out of it. I was a little bit lost um, during the initial stage. But Alhamdulillah, as years passes by, and then I start receiving a lot of, like, testimonials from my happy customers and so on saying that we have made some changes in their life by introducing the brand and so on so I analyze it and I realize actually makeup is not just a thing that we use to make us look uh, you know pretty but it's actually a tool that actually resolve a lot of issues and ultimately the issues are confidence issue mm -hmm. because you know when we ask women okay why do you wear makeup usually they have issues like oh i have a very dull skin dry skin pigmentation i'm so worried looking older than my age and so on but ultimately these issues relate to a, you know leads to a bigger problem which is confidence and when you look good you actually put on some makeup you know to cover some flaws that you you have along the way sometimes you are born with a very flawless skin but along the way there's wet and tan and so on so you need something to cover that up mm -hmm. so when you look cool look good you automatically feel good mm -hmm. so when you feel good the boost of confidence uh, it's just like you know suddenly there's instant boost mm -hmm. and I think that really affects in terms of your job performance, uh, how you actually go through your day. Mm -hmm. You know, you walk into your office and you feel like, okay, come what me, you know, I can go through this. You feel more positive, you feel more motivated because you believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And the thing that, the word that I think um, I like to mention is hope. 
you know you you don't know what is going to happen in the future but you come and actually you wake up in the morning you go to your office you do work or you do your business but there is a hope when you feel confident you feel like there's hope whatever challenge that may come along the way there is hope why you want to move forward you know that's i think that is how makeup actually helps women in their daily life Mm -hmm. yes. So you make a good point where mm -hmm. makeup do um, empower women, yes. but some say that wearing makeup to feel empowered is just a facade. Is there more to um, being an empowered woman in the society? Of course, I think it's not just about makeup. I think it's just uh, overall and also your attitude, the way you see, th uh, see things, the way you think, and and you know there are things that um, you know come along the way. But what makes it different is how you react to it. Uh, you know, sometimes people are having the same challenges, but one person can react differently in a very negative manner, but the other person would be in you know more a positive manner. So it's not just makeup. Makeup is one of the things that will actually help you to boost the confidence. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, you know, just rewind a little bit about you know how actually makeup has helped a lot of women out there. I have recently received one customer's feedback. She is actually a cancer stage four patient. Mm -hmm. So I was so amazed by you know receiving her message she uh, told my staff to actually um, relay the message to me that you know saying thank you that uh, after she found this product she feels more empowered although at stage four she said the doctor says she's just waiting for time um, and then she said being a cancer patient usually people will think that you know uh, she looks very dull she mm -hmm. looks very sick she mm -hmm. looks very um, you know, unhealthy. So people will look at her at certain way and so on. And you know, when she found our product, she actually used it every day. And people thought like, oh, she's not a cancer patient. She's very healthy. She's happy. She's very joyful. So you know, that uh, actually changed how people treat her. So actually, give her the confidence. And she said, you know, I'm so happy you bring this product. So you know, actually, I feel that. You know, it's not just about selling makeup, it's, mm -hmm. it's how you actually touch people's life, you know, using the products that you are selling. So her beauty Amazing. shines through. Yes, right. exactly. Um, so before the term halal mm -hmm. was made known in the makeup industry, um, how did they um, educate people um, about choosing halal makeup? Okay, back then when I actually introduced the product, I, I, would, uh, I consider myself to be lucky because at that point of time, the government is starting to introduce or promoting Malaysia as the halal hub. So it wasn't a very difficult starting for me, it's just that I came in the right time, at the right time. So when people ask me the common questions, you know, how can a makeup be not halal? Mm -hmm. You know, those are the common things. And then when you say halal, what do you mean by that? So basically, all we need to do is just explain to them how, um, how a makeup can be not halal. For example, by having things that is not allowed uh, by our religion, things like uh, some lard uh, or some plus, uh, baby placenta, which is not allowed, you know, things like that. So, oh, okay, I didn't know that. So basically, it's about we go to the ground, mm -hmm. we have a lot of underground events, and to educate people who are actually selling the product at the same time. Yeah. So the halal makeup is not only a concern to the Muslim community, now it is also um, for the non-Muslim community yes. as well. So what is your thought on this? I actually agree with that, 100% agree with that. Because when we talk about halal, it's not just catered or meant for Muslim. Mm -hmm. It, halal means the way a product is processed is a very... Um, with very stringent procedures, very clean, very systematic and you actually know where are the raw materials actually came from so you are very confident with what you are using. So there's not really something which is restricted to only just Muslims. So halal is about wholesome, about hygiene, about health. So it is actually for everyone, not just for the Muslims. Yes. Well said. <laughs> right, so um, can you tell us about the FCC Malaysia? Okay, basically this year is our 10th anniversary. We have been in the Malaysian market for 10 years and we are actually distributing the product through Paxson, um, some department stores like Aeon, and then we are also distributing in Singapore and Brunei. We also have online like Zalora, Fashion Valley, Lazada, and also we have some entrepreneurs program or business programs for those who want to venture into the beauty or business world so we have like a certain packages for them so that they can develop some extra income or their main uh, income from the business so 
and we are a whole complete of product and actually it's not a product that I created on my own it's an international brand that I actually import from Istanbul, Turkey and bring it to Malaysia yes, I see. for the um, past 10 years. How did FCC Malaysia uh, manage to penetrate into 117 countries? Um, actually the one penetrated in 107 countries is our principal mm -hmm. so they're actually selling to uh, a lot of Middle Eastern uh, countries, uh, overseas and so on. For us, we are just focusing on the uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and we are aiming to be in the, you know, the closest neighborhood countries like Indonesia, Thailand and so on. Yes. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, do you have any expansion plans? Uh, yes, currently we are just um, making our foundation stronger in Malaysia. But I do look into Indonesia as one of the biggest market, the next biggest market. And I think um, one of the reasons why the product can actually penetrate into about 117 countries, I think it's because of the background of the founder. The founder is actually a medical doctor. Okay. So he's been practicing, uh, practicing this thing for for the past 68 years. So when he actually come out with product, he is very particular about the ingredients that he's using inside the product. Mm -hmm. And I think because the product gives results, so that's how in six years, they managed to penetrate to 117 countries. Mm -hmm. And I think because of the product itself and with the knowledge that they have, that's why I've been with them for the past 10 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us the latest campaign by FCC Malaysia and what it is what is it aimed to achieve? Okay, our latest campaign is called Restore Your Confidence. So, I mean, I've shared a little bit uh, earlier, but our aim is to actually help a lot of women to uh, actually re regain their confidence. Because being women, you know, during those younger days, you are very particular about how you look like, you, you spend time to take care about yourself and so on. But the moment you move into the working life and the moment you get married, you move into the marriage life, then you start having kids and so on. You know, you have husbands to take care, you have kids to take care. You tend to forget about yourself. You tend to um, not appreciate yourself. You don't have your me time anymore. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of women actually lose confidence in themselves, how they look, how they actually you know present themselves. And actually, this is supported by a report done by Dove, the big company, shampoo company. Eight out of ten women actually avoid important events in their life because they don't feel confident anymore but they would like to actually step back into the world. You know, sometimes you have an invitation, let's go to the KL Fashion Week. So, no, I'm not, you know, suitable for those kind of events. They have this kind of like responses because they, they don't have that confidence anymore. So our aim is to actually, that is our brand promise, restore your confidence. You know, when you try our product, you put on our product, you will actually restore your confidence. Mm -hmm. So we want to reach as many women uh, out there because I think, uh, makeup is not just something that is just um, you know a kit to make you pretty like I said it actually boosts your confidence and from there your future or your life can change because of what you feel because when you look good you definitely feel good and when you feel good you know endless opportunities endless things can happen yes what are some of the activities